Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we've got space weather, cosmological physics, solar storm risk in the prime region of survival territory in Canada, and the power of the sun on climate tipping points. We're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star where we find a pretty quiet one. There have been small pops, but nothing significant in the flaring range and no eruptive events aimed towards the Earth. You see the coronal hole in coming there, and it's dominating the incoming hemisphere. The sunspot situation is taking the same trend right now. Development of the active regions is minimal, and the big group is departing. Trailing spots are just farting around on the disk right now. We're about to have the lowest sunspot number day in a couple Couple years when that big guy departs. Don't forget, sometime between tonight and tomorrow night, the small CME is due to arrive. Minor geomagnetic storm conditions are expected when that happens, and then in the following day or two, the enhanced solar wind from the coronal hole will arrive, looking like Friday. That's why we're also monitoring these filaments flanking the coronal hole if they release, could have a triple impact scenario develop. First up in the articles today, Ursa Major 3. Looks like it has no dark matter. This is hilarious if your name is Ben Davidson and you've been saying for years they would keep finding dwarf galaxies that lack dark matter signatures. Indeed, they don't need it because the kind of dark matter they are looking for does not exist. Up next is our AGU 25 preview of the day. Excellent geoelectric study of Alberta, Canada, showing how it really strongly follows the geomagnetic latitude risk profile. The closer you get to the U.S. border, the lower the induction risk you find. This is critical information for those of you in the number one survival zone of America's hat. Lastly, folks, team worked a major simulation with all the newest information and found how a reduction in solar power can cause a dramatic impact on the climate through the ice at the poles. Not only does that imply global warming caused by increased exposure to solar energy, but it shows how delicate this peak Holocene heat really is, only due to last as long as grand solar maximum, which is ending about now. Folks, the winter tour is set and tickets are available. In each city, we're going to go over critical information, we're going to review a disaster survival packet that you get to take home, and we will have a Q&A. It's the most value possible packed into a four-hour super event. Tickets are below. And folks, this is all that remains in 2025 at Observer Ranch in terms of major events. We will still have the Thanksgiving and Solstice parties coming for those in town. But the big events here, this is all that's left. Come out and see us, ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.